Good morning there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, um, you know as many videos that I've made on uh, roofing, I don't believe I've ever made a video about how to nail a shingle down, where to nail it, and the importance of it, okay? So I'm going to show you, we've got this one, this shingle right here laid in place, it's not nailed down. And I'm going to show you here real quick where to nail it, okay? We want to put four nails in. We're going to show you a four nailing system, then we'll show you a six nailing system. Right here above your tabs there, your lines where they where your tabs break, put a nail right on the tar line, okay? On the on the next one right here above the uh, little break and on the tar line, okay? And then on each end of the shingle, about you know three quarters of an inch to an inch back, right on the tar line, okay? Same thing over here. And that right there is what we call a four nailing system, okay? And you'll use that on three tabs. You'll also use it uh, on your architect style shingles also. Um, now let me show you the importance of nailing on the tar line. If you notice, right over here you'll see the shingle that is laid underneath this shingle. And you can see that the nail that you just nailed in there is actually holding the shingle underneath it. That's very important. If you high nail your roof, and what, what I mean by high nailing is if you're always nailing above the tar line, you'll never hit that shingle. And you'll have a, a, a roof that will be uh, more susceptible to uh, wind damage. I mean, I've seen shingles blow off. Matter of fact, I saw a guy's video here on YouTube of a uh, house that uh, they had done a architect style shingle on it and the whole roof was high nailed and a windstorm come by and just started blowing shingles off of the roof and the guy was up there uh, taking off all the old shingles and you could just grab and pull up you know probably 15 20 shingles at a time so very important to nail in the proper place now real quick if i can I'm going to lay another shingle right up here on my next row, if I can get it lined up with one hand. And I'm going to show you a six nailing system, which is actually recommended uh, for like a barn style roof. So let's do that right quick. I'll, I'll explain that a little bit later. Go ahead and tap, tack it on the end. And right here above your tabs here, you want to put one just a little bit to the right and a little bit to the left. Same thing on this uh, uh, break right here. A little bit to the right, a little bit to the left, and right here on the end. Now the six nail system is actually recommended on a really uh, high, steep roof, like a, like a barn or something where it comes down on the sides. You would want to uh, actually have those nailed on with a six nailing system, okay? But make sure you're always on the tar line. That's the most important thing. Also, make sure if you're using a pneumatic gun like I am, that your pressure is set correctly to where the nails aren't tearing right through the shingles. Make sure the heads are nice and flush and uh, keep an eye on that too. Because if you shoot the nail all the way through the shingle, shingles aren't gonna stay on the roof very good. Folks, thank you for watching the video today. And I hope everybody has a great day, and we will see you next time. Take care.